Hey, it's David. Welcome to my home. Well, welcome to Amsterdam. Welcome to the single canal to a Dutch canal home. It's a very old home from the 17th century, around 400 years old now, but it's quite charming. I've been living here for about two years now, very central, five minutes to Central Station. We're in the canal ring. As you look outside, you can see that the tourists are back and it's very lively and charming as well. If you look around, you can see some portraits. These are very old portraits from long ago. And usually the landlord spends most of his time here. He's also a violin teacher, and it's quite charming sometimes when you hear the sounds of violin. So let's come on into the hallway. So, one of the things about this place, and you can see how old the house is, is by looking at the stairs. You can see that many humans have stepped on these stairs and it's, it's not even flat anymore. It dips downwards like this. And it goes to show you how old this place is. It's from the 17th century and these stairs are really, really, really old. Let's go. Well, this is the kitchen. This is where a lot of cooking happens, a lot of cleaning, and this is our fridge and freezer here. It's not a lot of storage space, but also it's enough for two people. And right behind you is one bedroom where my flatmate lives. Two people live here. And this is where we have a lot of cutlery. There used to be a chef, a Japanese chef that used to live here. So when he left, he left behind all the cutlery, cutlery a lot of the plates. So we have a lot of things here, everything's furnished. This is our stove and oven, very useful for baking. My flatmate's partner is a great chef and also a great baker as well. And they do a lot of baking of bread, etc. And a lot of the pots and pans here. This is the microwave. This is my favorite tool. I don't do as much cooking as I would like. I do a lot of microwavable dinners. So this has been a favorite friend and tool for me. And as you can see, this is very unique, very old. A lot of the tiles and blue. Yeah, so this is our living room and this is our dining room table. This is where a lot of eating happens. I have breakfast here, my flatmate does as well. And dinner happens here as well. It's great for if you have a few people over as well to have a communal dinner, a communal meal, very nice. And if you move on to over here, this is my work from home station. This is my desk for the past year, two years. It's good enough and I spend a lot of time here on meetings and conference calls and doing my work. The view from here is actually quite nice. It's a view of the single canal, so you'll see a lot of times boats pass by, cyclists, and so it's a very charming work from home station. So there's not a lot of artwork here, but we do have one unique piece. This is called Tulips and Windmill by yours truly, David Wen. And yeah, I went to a painting class with a few colleagues and painted this. This is my first ever painting. And so it's not for sale right now, but um, I don't know how much it might go for in the future. We'll see if I continue painting. This is our fireplace here. We're not allowed to have any fires, but it just looks really nice. And my collection of books, I do a lot of reading. It's been especially helpful during the past year in COVID when there was really nothing to do. So I did a lot of reading and I also enjoyed cards, but not your typical cards, but cards to really get to know yourself deeper and your flatmates. And so this has really kept me busy over the past year. We also have some games and a chessboard right over here 
we've played one game of chess in the past year. It's more for show. This is actually one of my favorite books. It's the The Coacher Map by Aaron Meyer, especially useful when you work and you live in a very international environment. It's a book about how different cultures communicate, how different cultures work together, how different cultures build trust. And yeah, I would recommend this to anyone who is living in a very international environment. A book that I still want to read and I still need to read is Dutch in three months. It's been three years for me in the Netherlands and I have to say that my Dutch level is still at a very basic non-existent level. So this is on my to-do list to, to learn Dutch in hopefully three months. So this is my favorite chair. It's my favorite position in this place. This is where I do a lot of reading and a lot of journaling. And it's a really nice place to reflect and to read, especially because if you look outside the window, it's the single canal. A lot of boats go by, especially on a nice day. And it, I do a lot of reading, especially early morning with my coffee. And just like look out and look into the sky and the cyclists outdoors. It's a really, really reflective place in the house. And this is my favorite part of this place. So this is our living room and this is where I also spend quite a bit of time or well, relaxing, sometimes journaling, sometimes reading, sometimes watching the television. And this is a place where me and my flatmates sometimes, especially during COVID, we would just watch a movie late at night or watch soccer, football. And when people come over, what we especially like to do is to have some drinks, some snacks here on this table or move this table closer to the window and just relax, chill, catch up, have a good conversation, play some card games and yeah, just, just relax, just relax. So this is the second floor, this is my floor, this is where I live, my bedroom's over there, this is the bathroom, toilet, and this is where we do our laundry, washer and dryer, and we spend quite a bit of time up here because, well, there's nothing else to do during COVID except to eat, drink, read, and wash our clothes. And we hang our clothes here to dry sometimes, and yeah, let me show you the bathroom toilet. So welcome to the toilet, the bathroom. Again, it looks quite old, but it has its own charm as well. Everything's been renovated. And yeah, I brush my teeth here. We use the toilet here. And this is our shower bathtub as well. And what's really nice sometimes is sometimes we will have, well, I will have just a, a bath here and I'll light a candle here and just watch the, the view from outside on the single canal. Especially during COVID, there was really not much to do except to relax. And this is a really nice place to relax. Welcome to my bedroom. This is where I sleep. And this is also where I do my workouts as well. I have some weights underneath the bed. A yoga mat there as well. There's not a whole lot of space, but there's just enough space to sleep and to do some yoga, to do some weights here. And this is kind of like the attic transformed into a bedroom here. This is an area where I do a lot of meditation in the morning as soon as I wake up. And I don't have too much clothes, which is a really nice thing. And so my clothes are over there. A few shirts, some long sleeves, some jackets. Rain jackets, that's especially important in the Netherlands. One thing that I do like here is that I, especially when I wake up, I have this jar of fortunes from fortune cookies and I've saved these through the years. And sometimes when I wake up, I'll just take one out and read it. For example, what's the fortune for today? The best way to get rid of an enemy is to make him a friend. Oh, that's not so interesting. I will take another one. You will soon witness a miracle. So 
that was my house, a 17th century Dutch canal home on the single canal five minutes from Central Station. And I've had a really great time over the past two years living here. I, I originally found this place on Facebook groups, believe it or not. My flatmate was looking for someone else two years ago. I reached out and luckily he accepted me. And how much do I pay to live in a Dutch canal home? I pay around 975 euros, which includes everything from internet, utilities, taxes, which I think is a steal because it's very central. It's five minutes from Central Station by foot. There's a supermarket nearby. And yes, this is as central as you can get. I've had a really great time thinking about the past two years living here, especially during COVID when everything was shut down. The experience really was just living inside this house and being able to walk outside without people, experiencing a different side, a different point in time of Amsterdam without the tourists. One of the most unique experiences for me was when the canals froze last year and just being able to walk outside, seeing kids on their sleds, people ice skating on the canals. That was a very unique experience. And just wanted to give you an insider's look into a Dutch canal home. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly will miss this place when I leave. But until then, I will continue reading my book and watching people cycle outside the boats passing by and just enjoying life. I hope you enjoy it as well. Take care.